Hello, welcome back to Vlogmas. Today, I'm gonna tell you guys everything I purchased at Sephora in 2022. I've seen my friend Lauren May Beauty film this video in the past and I love watching this type of video because I'm nosy. And I thought it would be fun to look back on some of my purchases. Let me tell you guys, when I originally like sat down to compile the list and get ready for this video, this year has been longer than I thought because half of these I was like, was that really 2022? Because I swear I bought that at least in 2021. So let's just jump right into it. My very first purchase of the year was in February. Also, for reference, I feel like a bulk of my makeup shopping happens at Ulta Beauty. I have been in the Ulta Beauty Collective for 2022, so I've been like partnering with them throughout the year, but even before that, I still did most of my shopping at Ulta just because it's both high-end and drugstore, which is very much what this channel is about. But obviously I do still shop at Sephora and a lot of the products that I purchased there this year were like Sephora exclusive brands, including this February purchase. So it was February 9th and all I bought was one thing, very impressive, and it was this. You guys, when I saw that, I, I kept double checking the dates. I was like, February 2021? No, this year the LYS Triple Fix Concealer. You cannot convince me that this launched this year. I feel like, in my head, I feel like this was in my favorites video from last year, but clearly it wasn't. I just did a video looking back on my favorites, so I don't know why I'm so confused about this, but I was shocked that I bought this this year. I have the shade LN6, which is a little bit too dark and too warm for me, but I still make it work. I love this concealer, you guys. I feel like it's actually one of my favorite concealers. Definitely one of the best high-end ones I've tried. You get good coverage, it's smoothing. I love it. I probably won't spend too long on like the reviews of each of these just because we have a lot to get through, but that was all I purchased in that order. It was just the one singular product. And then I made another order on March 15th and this was a pretty big order. Okay, yeah, this was very big. First was a repurchase. This is the Pharmacy 10% Niacinamide Night Mask. So they had originally sent this to me in PR and I loved it so much I bought a backup of it. And I remember when I made this order, I wasn't even like that close to being done with the first one, but I knew I did not want to live without it. So I purchased a backup, which I don't normally do. I'm very against buying backups because I don't always get to them. Sometimes they go to waste, but this was one product I knew like I did not want to be a day without this. So this... I mean, this is the, the, the one I bought this year. So I finished the original and now I'm onto this one and I've used probably half of this already. So this is $42, it's pricey. I feel like there's so many good drugstore skincare options and I do wanna do a video about that in the new year. But this is one, like regardless of the price point, it is worth it to me. I will keep repurchasing this. I have convinced so many friends in my personal life to try this and they all like swear by it. They're like, girl, I'm so glad you convinced me to buy this. As I've been on my tretinoin journey, which I did just do an updated video on, it's it's very drying, it's a very harsh product, tretinoin, not this. And I like using this on my tretinoin night, so I will apply that prescription and then apply this over top, and I feel like this gives me the moisture, but also the niacinamide is really great for helping your barrier when you are using more intense products like that. Makes me glowy, like I love this. The next thing I purchased was this shade. I started with this one. This was Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize in Pillow Talk. You already know how I feel. I'll give you a spoiler alert. You will later see a second shade that I purchased later on in the year. And that was because this honestly disappointed me, but so many people told me, no girl, it's not the product, it's just the shade. So I was like, okay, I'll buy another shade. Spoiler alert, I didn't love the other shade either. These are fine. It's like a beautiful satin formula, but I don't think it's worth $34. What I did think was worth $34 was this next item in that order. This is the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Glow Serum Primer. This video is making me want to pull this back out. I feel like I haven't reached for this in a while, and I know my skin would love it right now because it is dry, 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 dry. You probably can't tell right now because I've tried to do... Uh, a lot of products hide it a bit, but the bottom half of my face right now is peeling like crazy. And again, if you want to hear more info on that, I can leave the Tretinoin update video down below. I go a little more in detail there, but I think my skin would love this right now. This is such a nice primer. It's, it is very serum-like and it's smoothing on the skin, but hydrating at the same time. I feel like my makeup goes well over top. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave this out when I put everything back today. This is not going back into those drawers over there. 
It's going into that drawer over there for my everyday makeup. Okay, I'm gonna put that over here to remember that. This one was disappointing a little bit, not, not so much, but the way matte pomade, this is $24 and I just, I don't think it does much. This I was seeing everybody talk about in all their slicked back bun videos, so I bought it. It smells amazing. It does look really nice at first, but I don't find that this gives me the all day hold that I want. I like $3 gel, hair gel from the drugstore gives me better hold than this. So, I mean, it's decent for styling and it is a nice pomade, but if you're looking for a hold in a slicked back style, this alone will not get you there. I also purchased the Wander Beauty Mile High Club Mascara. This was, I think, is this my second or third tube of that one? I can't remember, but I do love that one. I love a tubing mascara. That one just gives me the best length. However, I haven't repurchased it since then, and I don't know if I will, because I've been on such a drugstore mascara kick lately, and especially brown mascara. That's what I'm wearing today. I feel like these days I only want to wear brown mascara, even though, you know, that's not the only thing I wear, but it is definitely my preference now. This next one I cannot find for the life of me, but I also purchased the IGK Beach Club Volume Texture Spray. It's not in my, my closet over here. I've got a closet here and I've got a closet over here. If you watched my um, room tour vlog from like months ago, you saw that, but that closet over there has uh, a lot of makeup products and skincare, hair care in it. And that's where this product normally lives, but it's it's hiding right now. I did really like this. I do like a like volumizing spray or like slash texture spray for when I do have my hair in curls, just because my hair is actually very fine. Like I have a lot of hair, so it might appear to be somewhat thick, but the actual strands of hair are so tiny that I do really enjoy some sort of like a volumizing spray slash a texture spray just to give me a little bit of bulk. I also ordered the Hot Rollers from T3. And I've talked in a few videos about regretting this purchase. It was $130 and I feel like they work fine, but they're they're not that much better than just buying a drugstore set of rollers for about $30. So I think I could have saved $100 here. This was a bit of a disappointment for me. And I've mentioned in some other videos that I had another T3 product. It was actually a straightener and it stopped working within a year. So I actually, mm, I hesitate to recommend that even though, I use their curling iron today. I love their curling irons, but I just don't think all their products are worth the price. Also in the hair category, I bought this mini from Gisu, and I'm so glad I bought the mini. This is their honey infused hair oil. This little tiny guy was $25, and you can see I've barely used it because I don't particularly like it. I just find this to be heavy. I mm, My hair's not a huge fan of this. I prefer Olaplex number seven. This is just so much more of a lightweight oil. Again, my hair is very fine. So things that are heavy and weigh my hair down, they don't always work for me, especially because when you have fine hair, your hair naturally just wants to lay a little more flat. So I can't do a ton of heavy stuff. And this, I just, I didn't, I didn't love it. I don't get the hype, but I do get the hype with, wait for it, this perfume. This has been one of my favorites of the year. This is Vanilla Woods from The Seven Virtues. I feel like you're gonna look at this bottle and be like, girl, be for real, you have barely used that. But I feel like I've used this so much. This one, I, I feel it has good enough scent throw that I don't need to drench myself in it the way some other fragrances require me to do. So for this one, I feel like I've used this a ton, but it, it doesn't look like I've put a dent into this. I love this smell. Let me pull up the notes for you guys. Oh, it just makes me so happy. I feel like, you know how you have memories attached to scents? That's the case with this one. I don't know. This makes me so happy. I feel like this is very much a fall winter scent, though you don't need to swap out your scent seasonally. But if you do, I think this is really appropriate for this time of year. Keynotes are pear, rose, and vanilla. I absolutely love this. If you're looking for a vanilla-based, cruelty-free perfume, I recommend this one. I almost said shampoo. What am I talking about? And then I picked up the Charlotte Tilbury Eyeliner in Pillow Talk. 
This is $29 and it is very rare for me to want to recommend a high-end eyeliner, especially at the price tag of basically $30. But surprisingly, I don't regret this. I'm so glad that I purchased this. It is one of my favorite eyeliner colors and I feel like I've worn it a ton and I haven't put a significant dent into the product. So I don't have any regrets here and I was worried that I would. I was like, am I gonna look back on this $29 purchase and laugh at myself? But I actually use this a lot and something about this plum purple shade really will make your eyes pop. If your eyes are blue, if they're green or they're brown, I, it does not matter like this shade in particular is pretty flattering to everyone okay then there were some point perks in there but we won't get into those let's flash forward to my next purchase which was july 18th and this day was also just a one item this is something i just like placed an order ahead and then picked up in store you know but it was this this is the Rose Ink Solar Infusion Moisturizing Cream Bronzer these names are so long I purchased mine in the lightest shade, which is Parrot K, and I do like this. I don't think it's the number one best ever cream bronzer out there, and if you want to know what I do think is that, I did a tier list about a month ago talking about cream bronzers because I feel like this was the product of the year. Well, not this, but like cream bronzers. So I ranked them all. This one for me is good, but it's not amazing, but I can link that video. My next purchase was October 17th, and this was another pretty large one. Starting with another fragrance. This is from Maison Lou Marie. This is number 12. This one, I, it's, this is, mm, it's different for me than the scent profile that I would normally be attracted to, which I don't know why I do this. I do this with perfume and I do it with makeup and even sometimes with clothing too. And I know it's a mistake, but okay. For example, let's say I know I always like a pink blush. I love pink blush. And so then sometimes I'll be at the store and think, well, I have so much pink blush. I should really buy this orange blush. When I'm like, no, you don't, you don't like orange blush. I mean, I do. I'm just using this as an example. But I do it with fragrances too. I'm like, let me switch it up and get this one. But I, I don't reach for this that much. So I feel like this was a bit of a fail, but it's my own fault. It reminds me of something my mom would wear growing up. Her signature fragrance was, uh, what's it called? I don't think they even make this anymore. Um, White Diamonds, Elizabeth Taylor. I don't know if the notes are similar, but I looked it up when I first bought this because I was like, this smells just like that. And there was a little bit of carryover in the notes, but I don't remember it being that similar. The key notes are bergamot, white ginger, and cedar noir. They say it's a uh, very citrus forward, but I don't, personally smell a lot of that on its own i'm not obsessed with this but i do love it to layer i like because it feels a little more like powdery fresh layering it with some of my very sweet fragrances i think balances them out more like some of my sweet ones that are almost too sweet on their own paired with this it's a little bit of a better combo but I would say sniff this in stores before you buy it because for me, I don't wear it as much as I thought I would. Definitely not as much as Seven Virtues, uh, Vanilla Woods. I also purchased the Danessa Myricks Infinite Chrome Waterproof Micro Pencil Eyeliner. These names are so long. This was $22 and I purchased the shade Jade. And I talked in a recent video about feeling a bit disappointed by this because I envisioned wearing this on my waterline. I love wearing a metallic liner in that spot because it really makes your eyes twinkle. But this formula, I find, doesn't really show up on the waterline. It only shows up on the actual skin. So if I do it on my upper lash line or even like swatch it out on my hand, it's very pretty, it shifts, it looks cool. But in the lash line where I wanted to wear it, like, like the lower lash line, the waterline, I don't really see it. I feel like I wanna I wanna try a few more ways. I need to switch it up, try doing like a really cool wing with this or something. Just using it in a different way that works better with this type of product because it, it's not working for me the way I intended it for it to. This, I'm so glad I bought. I was late to the party, but I finally purchased a bento box from Kaja. This is the toasted caramel box. It is shade number three and this is one of the ones that has all shimmers. Some are like combo shimmer and matte. This one is all shimmer. These impressed me so much. When you guys see the swatches, 
it's so beautiful these have so much sparkle to them and i mentioned on friday's video friday i talked about the best drugstore eyeshadow formulas and i mentioned that i am a tap applier <laughs> maybe i'll go more in depth in like a future get ready with me but when i'm doing my eyeshadow for the most part because i prefer my shimmers to look a bit more scattered sparkly i don't like to do like the swiping motion across my eye i like to get a little on my finger and go tap 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 because you get more sparkle less less impact it's just more like scattered and so for these this formula is great for doing that it picks up well on your finger just to do a couple little taps and then have bam tons of sparkles or if you are into more of the foiled metallic look you can get that with this if you kind of just drag it across the eye so Love this. Very glad I bought it. I also bought this, the one we talked about earlier, the sister to this one. The shade I picked up in October was Oyster Pearl, per everyone's recommendation. Mm, it also kind of let me down. It's pretty, but I still didn't think it was worth $34. This order was also when I made my first Rare Beauty purchase. I bought this. It is the Positive Liquid Highlight. No, no, no. Positive Light Liquid Luminizer Highlight. That's quite the name. This retails for $22. I have mine in the shade Enchant. I have a bit of this on today, but I also have on some cream blush mixed into it, some powder highlight on top. This isn't all this product, but it's, it's on there somewhere. And I do like this. I feel like this shade in particular is very pretty. I am such a big fan of a pink highlighter mostly because I love a pink blush and I feel like those colors together just blend into each other to give this seamless, juicy, plump cheek look that looks very natural as opposed to more of like a champagne or gold highlight. If you're pairing that with a pink blush, which I'm normally wearing, then you have almost like more defined sections like here's the blush, here's the highlight. So I like using a pink highlight where it's almost like one ends where the other one starts. Anyways, that was way too much of a description. I like this highlight. It didn't change my life, but I, I, I use it often. It's pretty. Speaking of didn't change my life, I finally purchased a quad from Charlotte Tilbury. I was like, okay, let's find out if this is worth $53. I don't think it is. <laughs> I did a video uh, less than a month ago sharing reviews on everything I own from Charlotte Tilbury. So I can leave that below if that's helpful and you want to hear more thoughts. This is a pretty palette. I use it honestly pretty often. I always enjoy the looks, but it I don't think it justifies $53. But something that was a great deal was this. I purchased the Sephora Favorites Mini Clean Mascara Lash Stash to go set with Redeemable Voucher. This is out of stock. It's been out of stock for a while, unfortunately, but it came with five mini mascaras. I've started using one. I've started using the Lash Snack from Item Beauty love that mascara i haven't opened the other ones yet because i don't like to have too many mascaras open at a time but once i go through all of these and decide which one i like the most i'll redeem the voucher for a full size i just think that set is such a good deal i wish they would restock it but i can see why it sold out that was everything i bought at sephora this year i hope you are enjoying vlogmas so far and i will see you tomorrow for a new video bye